Wait, wait, wait. To tell the story properly, we have to go back five years to my first time ever in the Philippines. In 2019, me and six friends went to the Philippines for the first time and had the adventure of a lifetime. We went zip lining, saw the underground river, did the Honda Bay tour, did some karaoke, and saw the Mabuka Falls. But most importantly, we made friendships that would last a lifetime. There were talks of this magical place called El Nido, but we weren't able to make it on this trip. I wanna get away, but I could use some company. If you're alone like me, we could go on a trip. Girl, I wanna see the sun, dive into the deep ocean, dance with you all night long, move as you swing your hips. Dancing in the sun, dancing all night long. What is this place? Oh man. Hey friends, it's me PD. Welcome back to another adventure, if not the adventure. I've wanted to come to El Nido for a long time. I can't believe that we're actually here. Be sure to check out my Instagram for more adventure content, especially El Nido content. This is my parents' first time in the Philippines. I'm so glad they were able to come with me on this trip. As we are being taken to our Airbnb, I ponder on the past six years of vlogs I have been watching of El Nido. I am truly, truly grateful to be here. We were actually dropped off at the wrong Airbnb. Nobody's fault in particular, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. We were able just to walk around and explore El Nido's town. Uh, hi. Yes, we'll come back. Definitely, we're, we're gonna check in. <laughs> So after some walking around, we found our Airbnb, nicely tucked behind a clothing shop and a juice shop. Honestly, this is super cool. The staff here were so nice and so friendly. When I come back to El Nido, I'm probably going to stay here. Let's do a quick little room tour. So we paid around $116 per night, I thought that was a really good deal considering the location, the amazing staff, and free breakfast included. After a nice nap, it was time to check out El Nido's nightlife. And honestly, it's unmatched. Just the energy, so many places to eat and shop. We love it. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Music is in the air, y'all. Rooftop. What's going on up on the rooftop? We're going to go check out right here. The Art Cafe. Our first night in El Nido was truly amazing, but the adventure has only just begun. Good morning everyone. Today is our first full day in El Nido. This is our amazing tour guide, Kuya Jong. 
honestly, we couldn't have asked for a better tour guide. We are sharing this tour with a really nice couple. One of the benefits of traveling is that you never know who you're going to meet. Because this is our first time in El Nido, we are doing Tour A. Um, there are four tours in total, A, B, C, and D. You can do custom tours, but honestly, I just really, really wanted to see the Big Lagoon. Finally made it to the Big Lagoon. I've been watching vlogs on YouTube for the past five years <laughs> in my room, and now I'm actually here <laughs> making my own YouTube vlog. <laughs> wow! This is my amazing friend, Jom. Jom. Hi. Jom. Hi, vlog. Welcome to my guys. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet Jom. Just look at those rock structures, though. Man. Wow. Look at that water. This water is crystal clear. This really feels surreal. Like I'm not, am I actually here right now? <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. I'm very thankful for her drone behind me. I feel like I should help. I have to. Worth every peso to come here. Oh man. Sana all. Sana all. This expression. Yeah. Sana all. <laughs> My parents came with me on this adventure. You want to fly your drone now? I think it's drone time. Yeah, drone time. You think it's drone time? Cue the drone shots. My mom is not feeling too well, so he's gonna take her back, and my dad and I are gonna head to the caves over there. Be safe, mama. All right, so it's me and dad, we're gonna head to the caves. Over there is the cave, we're heading over there. Kayaking in El Nido with my dad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> traffic. <laughs> traffic. We're in traffic in El Nido. Wow. The cave. What is this place? Oh man. This is insane. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 
everyone here is just friendly and hanging out and having a good time. Chilling in paradise, yes. We were just discussing that there's nowhere in the world that we've been to that's anything like this. So I'm not sure if there's, maybe in Thailand there's places similar, but there's so much of it and it's so beautiful. And this is by far the most beautiful place that I've ever been <laughs> in my life. And I'll be back, I'm gonna be back. You know how when you're like enjoying a food, like for example a donut, and you're like, this is so good, and as you're enjoying the donut, you're thinking about the next donut that you're gonna eat? That feels like this. Like, this is my first donut, and I'm already thinking about the next time I'm gonna come back to El Nido. That made perfect sense, right? <laughs> can I just live here? You can feel the current just coming through. I am simply awestruck by the beauty of the Big Lagoon. I spend this time just trying to process the immense beauty I just witnessed. So we're going here only swimming. It is starting around here. Okay? Just prepare yourself. Prepare the camera. Uh, yes, sir. Underwater camera. And also the massive snorkel. That was really cool, seeing all the fish and the, the reef and the coral, but now it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Okay, wow. So we had lunch at Shimizu Island, a very beautiful island. And as we had our lunch, our tour guide Joan told us why it was called Shimizu Island. It's actually a pretty tragic story. Uh, Mr. Shimizu died snorkeling in the rocks and they named the entire island after him. So that's why they call it Shimizu Island. Rest in peace, Mr. Shimizu. All right, on to our next stop. What's this island called again? It's Alola Island. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna go around and explore. Can't get over these crazy rock formations. Alright, on to our last stop of this tour. Last but not least, the very famous Seven Commandos Beach. Probably the most beautiful beach I've ever been to in my entire life. So one hour, bro, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, 
Wow, I think by far this is the most beautiful beach. They saved the best for last. I really enjoyed the big lagoon and then this island right here. It's nice and warm. I love those palm trees. This is the last place, so we're gonna just chill here for an hour. Mm -hmm. People over here playing some volleyball. Let's go check it out. <laughs> the vibe here is so chill. Everyone just hanging out, playing volleyball. If I just had a beach hut, I could just live here. <laughs> it's like the jungle over there. This really has been like a dream come true. Been watching vlogs on YouTube of this place for five years. And now I'm here myself. It really has met and exceeded all my expectations. Honestly, definitely gonna come back. I love El Nido. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to our tour guide Joam, you're such an amazing guy, hopefully you watch this video one day, and the captain of the boat, thank you so much for getting us safely around El Nido. El Nido was my number one travel destination and I am so grateful and so thankful that I was able to experience it, especially with my parents that made it all the more special. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I really appreciate the support. We really only scratched the surface. There's so much more of El Nido to explore. There's three more tours. There's zip lining, there's canopy walks, there's Nakban and Vanilla Beach. So I will definitely be returning to El Nido in the future. But until then, there's still so much more adventure to be had.